Hi guys, just going to do a quick video here. Um, I just wanted to show you basically quickly around the outside of this Range Rover. Um, I'm lucky enough I'm going to have a test drive in one of the newer models this morning. So I thought I would bring this here, take a few pictures of it or a video of it and um, just show you the differences they've made to the car. So we'll just do a quick walk around um, the front end. Give your side profile view. You'll notice uh, the likes of the vents, the handles, bits and pieces like that have been changed. Um, down towards the back of the car, especially the lights are integrated now, so we don't really have the tail lights like we have here. Although, again, I quite like these, these are just you get used to them, I suppose. Um, I'm going to show you the back of the car. Real quickly, apologize for the mess in advance if there is any. The inside. Moving inside the car here. Close the door to stop the beeping. But basically we have a integrated display. I'm sure you are all quite familiar with it. So a built-in dash display which will also bring the navigation stuff up here. This model is the autobiography, so it has the heated and massage seats, panoramic roof, and we have leather headlining, and also this small fridge for drinks. So yeah, as I say, just a quick video. Um, I just wanted to show how they have changed, and. We'll get a look and a drive in this newer model and then I'll come back to you then. Hi guys, so I've been lucky enough to get a, uh, a test drive in the new Range Rover. As you know, I currently drive the L405 and I've had every model and shape that there is basically of Land Rover and Range Rover. So, um, as I say, I was very lucky uh, to get a test drive in this and just thought I would show you around. Um, Quite a lot of differences in the basically the whole car is different <laughs> um, new front bumper new headlights new handles and overall sort of the same sort of shape but uh, especially around the back tail lights have changed and they're all integrated now into the car Indicators are heading away. Moving forward in the interior, handles are different. Pop out handles now. As usual, plenty of space. Uh, this one also has a panoramic roof. Moving forward inside. some of the main the main screen here um, I'm not sure how I feel about that yet because my one is integrated into the dash as you'll see uh, as you've seen so I don't know I'm still still undecided about the big screens in the dash um, I quite like something you can put away out of the way but then that's just me New dash and also if you can see we'll start her up heads up display quite like that similar to the one in the um, M4 we're driving back from England there a few weeks back but overall very 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 nice car um, although it still quite dri drives quite similar to my own so I think that's that's a good thing. I think people who have had the models can see can see the um, the similarities between 
what you currently have in the newer ones, even though it is, everything has been changed totally. It still feels familiar. So, just a wee brief, a wee brief look at the two cars uh, side by side, just for interest. And uh, thanks for watching my video.